Hi, this is Petey at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial 132. Now in our last tutorial we had just gotten our tooltips uh, working semi the way we want them. Uh, they're popping up in the right spot and they're displaying the information that we're making. Uh, so there's still quite a bit of room for customization for the way that you want it. But next I want to actually start displaying the icon and I want it to actually have it display you know, the actual real name of the item. And I also want to start exploring the resources load. So to start off with, I'm going to open up Mono Develop, and I'm going to create a place to actually store the icon for our item. So I'm going to come down to our item.cs class, since it is the base class for all of our items, and all of our items we know want to actually have an icon in game. So at the very bottom here, I'm going to create another private. Uh, it's going to be of type texture 2D, and I'm just going to call it underscore icon. Now I want to set some accessors for it, so I'm going to come down here. Actually, I'm going to do it before the tooltip. I want the tooltip last. So private texture 2D, and I'm just going to call it icon. And then we set the accessors. So get set, and of course the get just simply returns the icon, and the set will tell the icon to take whatever value is passed in which should be a, a texture 2 and that's all we have to do for items and of course you know all of our items inherit from uh, the base item class so all of them will have it and next I want to jump into the generator script before we start exploring the code let's take a look one more time at the, the hierarchy I'm going to be using here so you're going to want to create a folder called resources and it's going to want to be spelt like this. And what you'll want to do is create some sort of hierarchy underneath on how you're going to have your the resources in here laid out. Now I know right now I want all my item icons in here. So I've created a subfolder called item icons. And of course you open that up and underneath there I have all the different type of items and the icons associated with them. So if we open up armor you'll see I have all the different spots that you can actually have armor. Then if you open that up I actually have the different icons for the armor. Now since we're dealing with weapons, I'm just going to go ahead and open that one up. And as you can see, I have a few items in here. I've actually really only finished three of them. And that's the, let's see here, we have the Morning Star, uh, the Salifi, which I'm probably spelling wrong and pronouncing wrong. And if I am, I apologize. I'll have to look it up later. And I also have the short sword done. Now, the way I'm doing it, take note of the spelling, or, well, the proper spelling of the word. Uh, because I'm actually going to be using the spelling here uh, as to display it in game as well as to load it up. That's why I have short sword here with the space between it, and I believe Morningstar is supposed to be all one word, so I've put it that way. And you'll notice a little bit of artifacting around the icon itself. Uh, I'm not really sure what that's caused by. It could be because some of these are still saved as a PSD file. They're loading up and displaying while in game. Uh, sometimes it won't display properly in game. And you'll have to play around with the different compressions on it. Uh, one thing that you also want to note is that when you have your icon done and ready to start testing with, uh, you'll probably start off with it as a texture. Go ahead and switch it over to GUI. And by doing that, it automatically sets the wrap mode to clamp and will get rid of your mip maps and everything else. And then just hit apply. It'll do everything that's needed to, do, needed to be done to set it up as a GUI for you. Okay, so first off, I want to take note of the actual path from our resources folder to my melee weapons. So mine goes item icons, weapon, melee, and everything's in there. So I'm going to want to make a, a path to that. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to create a constant for it under my item generator. And I don't see any reason to make it public, so I'm just going to do private const string, and I'll just call it melee weapon path and that was equal to item icons make sure the spelling's all right weapon melee and you'll want the trailing slash on the end and you'll want a semicolon on the end too great so let's come down to our create weapon function and right under here where we have 
where we're creating a weapon, I want to create an array for all the different names of items that we can make, or well, at least the, uh, the melee weapons. So I'm going to make a string array, and I'm just going to call it, um, see we're already using, I'm sorry, I put it in the wrong spot. This is actually supposed to be under melee weapon. And since we're already using the name melee weapon, I'm just going to call it weapon names. And it's going to be of type string. And I'm going to hard code in the amount that I have. So right now I only have three. Then right underneath there, I want to define what the name of all three of them are. So I called it weapon names. Put in the index for the first one, which is zero, is equal to, and then the string. So I'm going to use short sword for the first one. I'm going to copy that twice, increase the index for them, and just change the string to what the other two were. So I have morning star, not start, morning star, and my other one I called Salifi, I believe was the spelling I used. And let me see, am I signing, I'm signing a name right here. I'm going to change the way the name is assigned now. I no longer want to assign this random string to it. What I want it to do is actually grab one of these at random and use that. So I'm going to say that the name is now equal to weapon names. And then for the index of what weapon to pick, I'm going to say random range. We're going to start at zero, which is you know the first one in all of our arrays. And I want to say go to weapon names dot length. And of course, that's always one bigger than. Whoops, we got a wrong bracket there. That's always one bigger than the actual last index. So it goes length is three. So it's actually picking between zero and two, which is the list we have here. So let's save that off and actually go see if it actually does grab the proper names for us. So I'll start it up. There's no errors. I'll run up to one of the chests, open it up. And there we go. Silifi, Morningstar, Short Sword, and as you can see in the tooltip, it is now displaying as well. Now let's start assigning the icon to it. So I'll come back into our script here, our item generator script. And I'm going to assign the icon right down here. So I'll quickly comment it. Assign the icon for the weapon. And to access it, all we have to do is say melee weapon dot icon. Hmm, you can't seem to access it. Let me just take a quick look here. And this was actually supposed to be private, or sorry, public. Okay, so we got that fixed. We'll come back into our item generator, and I'm just going to back up a bit to make sure that I can now access it. Great, so we'll assign. Now here's where we use the resource that ah, resources.load. And we want to tell it the actual, the file to load. So we're going to need the whole path. So we got the beginning part up here, which is going to be common to all of our melee weapons. So I'm going to post that in there, and then I'm just going to append the actual name of the weapon that we're using. So that's going to be uh, melee weapon dot name, which we stored up here. Now there's this returns, I believe, an object, or it might return a game object. It returns it doesn't return a texture 2D, which we want. Now in the docs it says to typecast it by doing type of and then texture 2D. I've not been able to get that to work yet. Uh, the two ways that I have been able to get it to work though is to typecast it by saying as texture 2D or instead of putting it at the end here I can come up to the front to say texture 2D up here But I prefer the method where you put it at the end. I just find it's a little more readable. But either one works. 
Now to test this in game, we're actually going to have to come over to my GUI. And Mono Develop crashed a little while ago, so I'm going to load from the auto saves. And we're going to come down to the loop window function. And where we have the line in the for loop here, where we're actually displaying the item. Instead of displaying the name now, I want to display the icon. And IntelliSense isn't working, but it should still work in game. So let's just go try it out. I have no errors. We'll hit play. Run up to a chest, open it. And there we go. So there's my Morning Star, my Silifi, uh, and my Short Sword. But when you load them up into your inventory, they're still not displaying right. So we'll take care of that. But seeing as we're just over the little 10 minute mark here, I'm going to call this one done. I'll save it off and we can start up another one. I'll see you then. Bye bye.